Hi everyone and welcome to week four's assignment directions. Okay, so this week we're taking a, a major step in the essay writing process and we're going to look at how to use APA formatting to incorporate in-text citations and reference citations into our essays. Okay, so what is an in-text citation? Hmm. Okay, let's take a peek at one. An in-text citation is a citation that denotes a bit of paraphrased information or it might de denote a direct quote. Okay, so for example, here is a bit of paraphrased information. In fact, based on a survey conducted by Babson Survey Research Group and the College Board in 2012, the percentage of online college students increased by 570,000 students, moving up from 6.7 million students. Okay, so here's a bit of, of a factual information that I found in a, a credible source of information and I want, wanted to include it in my essay because it helps establish my argument that online learning, I'm, I'm making the argument that online learning is uh, the best way to learn. Okay, so it's a bit of information. It comes from a credible source, and I've summarized it all into my own words. And then and when I do that, I have to give a shout out to the actual author. Okay, so in this case, I have to include the author's name, and there is no specific author. In this case, the organization behind the information who published the or published the information is called Sloan Consortium, and they published it in 2013. So for summarize summaries or paraphrase phrases you need to include the author's last name and or the author name and the year of publication. Now, as you can see, this is an in-text citation. So we will have to include the full bibliographic information for that in-text citation down in our references section. So that one was the, by the author of the Sloan Consortium. So when I scroll down to my references section, I can see the full bibliographic reference right down here. Okay, so that, that those are the that's the difference between an in-text citation and a reference citation. Now, here is what an in-text citation looks like for a direct quote. All right, uh, I just need to find it. Sorry. Uh, to, uh, the, someone from the uh, the Department of Education noted, right here is the, the quote. And direct quotes should be under 30 words. You don't have to find direct quotes or any uh, some make any summaries this week. I'm just showing you where we're going because sometimes it's helpful to know where we're going um, before we get there. <laughs> okay, so here's the, anyway here's the direct quote, and it'll be less than 40 words, and it'll be included in quotation marks. And then you'll have the, you'll list the author's last name, the year, and then the page or paragraph number. For digital texts that don't have pagination, you need to note the paragraph number. So that's just noted by para.7, okay, paragraph 7, in other words. Um, in texts that do have pagination, you'll just write page p.7, okay? So anyway, that's where we're going eventually. We're not getting, worrying about getting there today, though. Today's assignment, however, will set us up to be able to use APA formatting in that way and it will help us generate those reference citations. So, how do we do this? Make sure to download your worksheet because that's where you're going to complete your work. And then in order to uh, access this great tool that's going to help us generate our reference citations and our in-text citations, you'll wanna click on this link, okay? All right, and then the worksheet itself looks something like this. And as you can see, the worksheet has supplied the ex an example for you. Okay, so you're going to do the same thing, only you're going to find your own research, research and include it in the, your turn twice. So you're going to complete 1A and 1B, and then 2A and 2B. All right, so how do we do this? How does this generator work? In order to get the generator to work, you first need to find a good re piece of research. Okay, so in this case, I know I'm writing about uh, the benefits of online learning, so I have located in ProQuest a great article and I, I really do advise you to take some time in finding an article that is from a journal or a book uh, when you use the generator as you can see here open up the generator that when you first begin to use it it will ask you to choose the type of source that you want to cite so it will help be helpful if you locate one of these types of sources in the library to begin with that includes books, journals, newspapers, websites, podcasts, 
Um, and then there's some more types down here. But so I highly recommend finding a journal article. Journal articles are a little shorter, obviously, than books. Um, books are good too. Whatever you choose is, is just fine. But um, anyway, be able to deter first of all, whenever you choose a source, you need to be able to decide what type of source it is. In this case, I know that it is a journal article. So I, I know that when I go to my a reference generator, I'm going to select journal magazine article. All right. Then I'm going to begin to enter my information that I can, that I know is bibliographic information from my source. So when I look back here, I can see that the author's name is Dana Thompson. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and type that in. All right, and then when I have to type in the author's first, uh, first name and middle initial, I only know, they only listed their first name, so I know the first name initial is D, so I just list D. All right, and then there weren't any other authors, so I don't need to worry about pulling anything in there. And then here I get down to my year publication section. All right, so for this case, uh, it was posted, published in 2011. When I look at it, yep, summer of 2011. Okay, scroll back to my reference citation. Um, the season it was published was summer. Now, what was the title of the article? Hmm, it was kind of a long one. So in this case, uh, because I don't, I want to be save as much time as possible. I'm going to copy and paste that. In order to copy and paste something, you can copy it or highlight it and then hit control C and that will copy it for you. And then you can go back to your reference citation generator. And then when I type that in, I will hit control V. Okay. Then it has typed in my title there of the article. Now I need to type in the title of the journal magazine. So the title of the journal of the journal <laughs> title of the journal is Gifted Child Today. So I'm gonna scroll back there. I'm gonna type in Gifted Child Today. Alrighty. Now I need to enter my volume and an issue number. Okay. Look back here. Here's all my bibliographic information. Okay. Here's the volume number, 34, and then the number is three. Issue number is three. Okay. So I'm going to type in 34, and then I'm going to type in 3. All right, now, um, did were my page range listed? Yes, my pages, my page range was listed, and that is 31 through 39. So I'm going to pop back to my reference generator, and I'm going to type in 31 through. Oops, wrong line. 31 through 39. Okay, and that's all we need for this assignment so far. Okay, so in this case, I'm happy. I've got everything entered. I'm going to hit submit. All right, so this has generated for me my reference citation, and it has also generated what my in-text citations might look like. Okay, remember in-text citations denote paraphrased information or they denote direct quotes. Okay, so um, I would have to go ahead and enter that paraphrased information into the right part, or I would have to go ahead and enter the direct quote into the right part. But for the purposes of our assignment, all you are doing then is popping back to your section, and you're uh, going to copy and paste that information. Okay, and then you're going to do it again when you find another source uh, down below here for the 2A and 2B section. And then once you're done, you're done. Please submit it to me. And if you have any questions or any problems with anything, please just let me know. You know, and at, while I have you here, I wanna show you another quick trick too. If you are in ProQuest or EBSCOhost or Opposing Viewpoints, oftentimes these, uh, web, these databases have this great little feature called Site. So you can hit cite, okay? And then it will cite it in APA formatting for you as well, okay? So if you, um, this is another way to get a reference citation generated for you. So then you could, you know, type it in here. And then when a reference citation is issued, uh, you would need to use the same format. Or for an in-text citation, when you write your in-text citation, you would use the, the um, information 
from the from the bibliographic information to note the author and to denote the year too or page number if you need that as well if it's a direct quote all right i hope this helps and if you have any questions please just let me know i hope you enjoy using the citation generator tool it's a great tool for you to use have a great day out there bye bye